Sir, last but not the least, what would you like to suggest our juniors, seniors of India Maritime University Kolkata campus for their future career? Hey juniors. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. As I have promised you, I will share a lot of videos regarding interview. Today I am going to make you introduce my versatile senior Naman Kumar sir who is placed in OMCI. Congratulations sir for your wonderful achievement. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my channel Amrit Ras Compositions. Sir, as you have been placed in OMCI, please tell the viewers about this company in brief. Okay. OMCI, Orinco Marine Service India Private Limited. OMCI is a big technical and support service India Private Limited. It comprises of many PLC specialists, master managers, naval architects, marine engineers who provide marine services in marine industry, maritime industry. So when I get placed, uh, we are going to get uh, exposure in various fields, you know, as a PLC specialist in control automation also. We work on electrical projects also. We are going to provide marine services on ship also. So what we have learned in these four years, we are going to get expertise in the training period and then we have to then enhance in project engineering. So we are going to appoint as junior project engineer initially, then project engineer and then senior project engineer. Uh, what I can tell you about this salary is uh, we are getting much more salary than marine engineers in initial five years. Sir, now next question is, what is the selection procedure of this company? How did you get selected? OMCI Rig Technical and Support Service India Private Limited selection procedure is quite simple in our campus placement. Firstly, you will get shortlisted in college. Then you will have the Skype interview by technical director of the OMCI. And then in-person interview when it came for your camp in your campus. Sir, what are the questions asked to you in interview and how did you answer the questions? I was asked about some basic questions, not so very basic, means uh, really tough for me. Okay, uh, I was asked about marine auxiliary and internal combustion engines like freshwater generator. So he asked me about the third developing freshwater generator which is going to be trend in marine engineering. Also he asked me about the internal combustion engine two stroke, four stroke, the basic difference that an engineer can answer because when I answer some basic answers, he uh, the interviewer told me that uh, anyone can tell this different. So you have to get prepared like engineering answers. He want to listen an engineering strength that what is the difference between two stroke and four stroke. You should tell that power to weight ratio is higher in which engine, two stroke or four stroke. Obviously in two stroke engine. So many cadets are there here who doesn't want to sell and he wants to join the company like OMCI, Indian Oil, ONGC, then what would like to suggest that cadets? You don't have to prepare much accordingly to these companies. You are very well prepared in these four years of under, means under college training, under workshop training. So you have to say goodbye to shipping just so like that you are saying goodbye to shipping in the interview. You are very passionate about these companies you are going to work with them for a long period of time. That's what well, all I can say. Sir, you are also member of Junior Research Wing of International Union of Pure and Applied Physics. You are writer as well. Then where do you want to see yourself in future? Okay, as a writer and scientist in International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, I would like to develop many more innovative ideas that can change the normal lives that we are facing in uh, normal life problems. So I want to be an entrepreneur one day. So what is entrepreneurship? My all about that. Uh, I want to have a startup that uh, is going to provide innovative solution to this normal living life. Like this, what I have developed in life saving appliances on Lightboard. Sir, there is my mindset about this college. If you take admission in Indian Maritime University Kolkata campus, then you have to do a job like a selling. Then how did you break this mindset after getting a sore job like OMCI company? Okay, I think uh, everyone should change this temperament. That uh, if we are uh, reading in, if we are studying in Indian Maritime University Kolkata campus, we are only going to get selling. No, we are getting trained for management, electrical automation, marine machinery operations. So we have all the broad spectrum. We have to 
spare all the times that we have in our college life. So your expertise, what you are getting in these four years is totally dependent on you. Like an example, OMCI in which I got placement, OMCI is a sure based company. He is using, it is using my knowledge that I have gained in these four years of training, workshop training also. Sir, there is a question. What would you like to suggest to those tracers who want to join Indian Maritime University Kolkata campus or any other IMA campuses? Okay. Uh, I would suggest that, uh, my dear juniors, if you want to join uh, this field, you have to get a lot of research in this field. Because if you have this stone mentality that you are going to sell, you are going to explore the world, you are going to a very tough hand job, means you are totally aware about this field, then you are going to be in the Indian Maritime University Kolkata campus. Secure a very good rank in IMU CET, get in this college and you have the best training all over the world. I can show the best that. Sir, you also really made us proud after getting selected in UK and PI Club London. How this innovative ideas will support or help the shipping industry? And how did this college help you in achieving this? Uh, UK Protection and Indemnity Club launches Investing in a Safer Tomorrow competition on its 150th year in October 2018. So we started working on that project. I worked with uh, Mr. Hanshul Manchandani, our one year senior. He is from 2015 entry batch. So we worked, both worked together. and. Uh, the project is all about, this competition is all about to provide an innovative solution which can save life save life on board the ships. Because many accidents are going to get, happen on the ships when we sail and the precious lives and properties are getting lost. So UKPNI club, pro, means basically UKPNI club provides insurance to the companies. So according to this competition, they want to achieve something really innovative so that it can be installed on the ships. Under the guidance of Professor Kishora Arun Kishore sir, we worked on the safe launching arrangement of lifeboat by retrofitting method. Uh, we provided the safe arrangement so that uh, the damping motion of the lifeboat during the embarkation and during the launching can be sustained. We installed 20 telescopic dampers through the rails so that it can slide vertically down the hull of the ship. We got selected, we first shortlisted in top 10 entries all over the world in January 2019. Then after we are supposed to do an elaborative research on that innovative idea and have to provide the solutions to the UK PNI club. We have the intellectual property right and uh, then we have submitted our uh, rendered video which we developed, we both developed and a very researchful idea with Garo.in website who supported and quoted the really informative uh, solution about the projects. Means how much data it can be sustained like uh, to 2500 to 3000 kilogram of uh, uh, the lifeboat is going to launch. So after that when we got selected, we were invited to London on the consolation basis. Means uh, the top three categories are going to be invited in London. So we hopefully we couldn't made it in top three. We secured rank fourth. And uh, the total expenditure they offered us to uh, travel back to London also. Uh, uh, but uh, College supported me in every aspect. Means Ishwara Arun Kishore also dropped an email to headquarters because uh, my examination is also going to get hindered in this. So it's a very doubtful situation for me to how to tackle this problem. Means uh, uh, giving the exam at the same time and achieving that conference in London also. So college supported me really very well. I appreciate that. And uh, Mr. Krishnendus Das sir, our director, Mr. Kumudur Ashok Bhal sir really supported me in every extent that is possible means uh, they show me that college is very helpful in every aspect so that's why this college is called as research marine marine engineering and research institute this research is totally supported by my college and our professors so what i made the mistake means uh, no, lastly not a mistake but i didn't att uh, attended the conference in london according to some reasons because uh, intellectual property and the copyrights problem are some there then after submitted this uh, project to International Conference on Naval Architecture, Ocean and Marine Engineering in which they have blind paper review and they are also in for, uh, inviting us to Jeju Island, South Korea. Also there I have not attended because same problem, intellectual property problem and the copyright problem. I am not going to share with any on, one of them and now we are proceeding with this college with class approval society, classification society 
Indian Registrar of Shipping and DNVGA. After that, we will go to International Maritime Organization for the whole setup. And hopefully, we think that we are one day we will going to install on these ships. Sir, last but not the least, what would you like to suggest our juniors, seniors of Indian Maritime University, Kolkata campus, for their future career? Hey, juniors, uh, of course, my brothers. Uh, I will not say the same thing that follow your passion. I will say that don't let die the passion in this competitive world because world is getting getting very diversified. It means every branches have micro branches. So if you have a passion that is getting die in any situation, don't let it die. Many persons are in your life that is uh, pushing you to die. Let it die, but uh, you should follow your passion till the end of your breath. Thank you, sir, for your precious time in your busy schedule. You really motivated us, and a lot of junior will be inspired after watching your interview and your suggestions. Uh, thank you very much and thank you all also means uh, sharing all these experiences what I attained in this college and what I am going to be is really an incredible feeling you know sharing with all these juniors here is uh, what I can say that informally it is a dasan but not it is a dasan means it is a real experience that I have shared and uh, I can tell about this guy that he is already placed but he is doing a very good job means here mentality is that if you are getting placed get placed you have nothing to do with this call where you are one day going to enjoy. But this guy is doing an incredible job and in spreading all these uh, new experiences with our juniors, our broad spectrum of exposure. So please keep it motivating and you also do the same thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much and all the best for your future, sir. Thank you. Thank thank you. you.